Cuisine Royale unleashed its latest update titled Heaven's Wrath. World of Tanks recreates the Battle of Berlin. We see a new collectible card game based on the Total War series and Fortnite goes from Battle Royale to Party Royale. What's up guys, James Wallen here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements for the week of May 8th, 2020. And real quick before we kick off the news, I want to let you know that Bionic Logic Incorporated, the parent company of MMO Huts and CPM Star, is launching an equity crowdfunding campaign. Support the best MMO coverage out there and become an investor and partial owner of MMO Huts at the link below, startengine.com slash bionicologic-inc. But with that said, not a lot of news this week if you don't count Battle Royale games. So, kicking off this week, the sci-fi survival MMO Population Zero has kicked off its early access on Steam. If you haven't been following this MMO, it's an action-based combat system with two factions that affect the character's physical biology, an expansive world with an in-depth crafting tech and building systems, and more. This one's been on the radar for a couple of years now, so it's good to finally see it getting closer to some sort of release. This was pretty much how Ark Survival Evolved started out, and it eventually worked out for the game. And just like Ark originally, Early Access is going to cost you about $30 to pick up, and the price of the game is supposed to go up after release. Steam reviews are a bit mixed, so make sure you do your research if you're thinking about buying in. Next up, there's a new trailer for Total War Elysium this week, showcasing gameplay for the first time. This is a free-to-play collectible card game based on the Total War series, which is an interesting take. So it looks like it may be crossing historical lines to feature commanders from different timelines. Currently the game is in closed beta on Android, but it will launch on iOS and PC too when it's ready. There's no ETA on the release just yet, so make sure you keep an eye out if this is your kind of game. Not to be forgotten in the world of Battle Royale's Cuisine Royale has unleashed its latest update titled Heaven's Wrath. The key feature in this update is in the introduction of the light armored combat vehicles, which feature gunners' seats for mobile artillery in a match. To make things fair, Gaijin has also introduced items that will detect nearby combat vehicles, which include tiger and leopard panties? Well, I guess you have to hone in your instincts somehow. That's the way to do it. There's other new weapons and changes in this patch, so make sure you hit the link below for all the info. Miss going out during this pandemic? Well, Fortnite's got you covered this Friday night, May 8th, with the premiere of Party Royale. This party features live performances from Dylan Francis, Steve Aoki, and Deadmau5 in back-to-back -back sets starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The show will be rebroadcast on Saturday, May 9th from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. Anyone who logs in this weekend will also get a free Neon Wings back bling to celebrate. The Party Royale is a non-combat space, of course, which also features aerial obstacle courses, boat races, and more. This honestly is a really cool event. Leave it up to Fortnite to pull it off. Moving on to another Battle Royale, Vigor has just launched its 3.1 Rivals update, aimed at offering some quality of life improvements to the Rivals season. Now the game has another batch of titles to earn, a ping system for teammates to help point out points or persons of interest, and some heavy changes to the game's engine and UI to make the game better to play. There's also a new phone duel encounter where you can pick up a phone and dial out and if somebody answers on the other end, you both get marked on each other's maps. And you pretty much know what happens next. Telephone with bullets. Well, that's a new idea. World of Tanks, on the other hand, is getting prepared for update 1.9.1 and this week they've shown off a brand new map for random battles. Berlin. This is a highly detailed map based on historical research meant to reflect the final moments in the German capital at the end of World War II. Divided into four main areas, each vehicle should find a way to take advantage of the landscape in battle. The update also plans to add new vehicle customization, including progressive decals and tweakable styles. Finally, let's round up this pretty quiet week of news with some sweet deals of the week. On Steam, the stealth action horror game Showdown Bandit is free to keep if you download it before June 1st. Seems like you have a little while now. Also free on Steam through the weekend is the Golf Club 2019 featuring PGA World Tour, so you can continue practicing social distancing and also avoiding allergies by playing virtual golf instead. Epic Game Store is offering Death Coming for free this week, which is a pixel-style puzzle game where you harvest human souls. 
And as always, you can grab May's free games on Twitch Prime, plus a lot of in-game loot, including the new Zofia Operator set in Rainbow Six Siege, and a role player head for Borderlands 3. I think I saw a pretty ridiculous Doom Slayer skin in there as well, for those of you playing Doom Eternal. This is probably what I'm going to look like coming out of self-quarantine. I'm not going to lie. I miss the gym. And with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers. Time is no.